Great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Thirteen years after Terrence Murphy Hall inaugurated the Minneapolis campus of the University of St. Thomas, the doors opened to the Schultz School of Entrepreneurship. A new building, a big idea, and that entrepreneurial spirit. Ultimately, you learn through this course that, you know, uh, I think I can do this well enough that perhaps if I can find the right kind of support, um, I, can do, I can do my own. And, uh, and it's in that spirit, you know, I think that entrepreneurship actually gets born. One, two, three. Schultz Hall was born following a conversation between Richard Schultz and Dennis Deese, the Best Buy founder and the St. Thomas president, talking about how to best teach those entrepreneurial values. Entrepreneurship, it isn't really all about one person. One person may have the vision. One person may have the drive. He may have the initiative. But you know, uh, he has to learn how to team. He has to learn how to call on others. He has to learn how to vest and delegate. And he has to learn how to let others take risks and assert themselves to make the whole stronger. That includes the young salespersons wearing the blue golf shirts. That's exactly where it starts. Because the more they feel like they can make a difference, the more they feel like their knowledge helps it get better, stronger, and does more for customers, the more successful it is. Best Buy is quite open to innovation. They, they absolutely are not afraid to explore and try something new uh, if it works towards improving their position in the marketplace. And what we want to do here in, in Schultz School in particular is to nurture that same spirit. The building itself serves to nurture that spirit in students. I think it's a very important statement of the school's commitment to training our students to be entrepreneurial thinkers and actors, to be people who come out into the world and not afraid to take some risks to pursue their dreams, but have the analytical skills as well to understand how to carry those out. This building is going to allow us to really spark uh, a sense of creative collaboration that's hard to do when you're scattered across the campus. We're going to create a cohesive group of people who are regularly meeting and sharing ideas um, and inspiring each other. We're going to be able to have many more opportunities to um, engage with the local entrepreneurial you know, environment and, 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 and practitioners here. And I think, you know, in a year's time, we're all going to say, wow. Wow, indeed. Two-story glass atrium, a curved grand staircase, wireless internet access for the entire building, a 64-seat tiered classroom, and a 330-seat auditorium. I can sit down and listen to business uh, leaders, community leaders. I can listen to uh, people on the faculty or, or uh, others invited in to share their stories. And we have the opportunity to share that experience with hundreds at one time. And you're pretty close to them. I mean, as high as you are and as deep as it is, you're actually pretty close to the goings on. And the students feel close to the goings on. It really lets a group get together and meet and share ideas in a way that I haven't seen before. This is what I should try to achieve with this business, where it makes sense to pull from all these different concepts. Having uh, technology right here that we can use before class, during class, during breaks, it really adds to it. Uh, there's a lot more technology integrated in what we're trying to do in the classrooms. I was amazed. This is a gorgeous facility. It is the most high-tech facility I have ever studied in, and I'm honored to be able to finish my last year. I'm glad it opened this year so that I could actually take advantage of it. I mean, the level of technology is probably actually beyond me. <laughs> Cutting-edge technology, teamed with the experience and vision of Richard Schultz, inspire the faculty. To be associated with that kind of entrepreneurial, innovative heritage is um, it's, it's more than an honor, it's a real privilege, and, and it's a responsibility. It means, um, you know, the bar is set pretty high, and our really exciting challenge is to continue to provide cutting-edge educational programs. In this building, we have the capabilities and we have the resources to develop the finest entrepreneurship program in the country. That's the entrepreneurial spirit that brought St. Thomas to downtown Minneapolis.